Hi friends, this is Pipe and Systems video part 1. I will suggest you to watch time and work videos part 1 to understand the concept of pipe and systems quickly and in a very easy manner. So pipe and systems also we are going to use LCM technique to solve the questions quickly. So here the shortcut is same whatever we have used for time and work there will be some small difference will be there which we are going to understand here. Suppose we have two pipe, pipe 1 and pipe 2 okay and this I will compare with time and work. In time and work we had A and B. So A used to do a piece of work in 10 days and B used to do a piece of work in 20 days right. So here pipe 1 can fill the tank in 10 hours and pipe 2 can empty the tank in 15 hour right so in case of pipe and cisterns we will have one pipe can do positive work means one pipe can fill the tank while another pipe can remove the water from the tank or can empty the tank but in time and work all we are doing the positive work so what we were doing we are taking the lcm of 10 and 20 so 20 divided by 10 will be 2 and 20 divided by 20 will be 1 this becomes your efficiency this becomes our work and then the number of days taken by a plus b will be 20 divided by 2 plus 1 is equal to 20 by 3 days like this we used to solve but in case of pipe and cisterns there may be both the pipes may be doing the positive work it means pipe 1 is also filling the tank pipe 2 will be also filling the tank or there may be a scenario where pipe a is filling the tank and pipe 2 is removing the or emptying the tank so what we will do in that case see p1 is equals to 10 hours and p2 is equals to 15 hours right we will take the lcm lcm will be 30 so because we are going to use lcm technique so here we will take lcm and this lcm will become our total capacity of the tank in case of time and work the lcm was becoming our work and here LCM will become capacity of our tank. So suppose 30 liter is the capacity of the tank. Now 30 divided by 10 will be 3 and 30 divided by 15 will be 2 right. So pipe 1 is filling the tank so we will mark plus and pipe 2 is emptying the tank so we will mark negative. Now 30 divided by this is this efficiency is plus 3 so write plus 3 and P2 efficiency is minus so minus 2 so 30 divided by 1 that means P1 plus P2 will take 30 hours to fill the tank. Why? Because P1 will fill the tank in 10 hours and P2 is removing the water in 15 hours, right? Now, let's understand this by efficiency. See, P1 can fill 3 liter in 1 hour, right? Because P1 is doing a positive work. So, P1 can fill 3 liters in 1 hour and P2 can remove 2 liters in 1 hour. So finally, how many liters is getting filled per hour? So per hour, 1 liter is getting filled. And how many total capacity of the tank is 30 liter. So it will take 30 hours to fill the tank. So this is the basic concept of pipe and cisterns. It is very much similar to time and work. The only difference is here, we'll have positive work and we'll have negative work, right? Okay. Now let's solve the question number one. Two pipes A and B can fill a tank in 36 hours and 45 hours. So pipe A can fill in 36 hours and pipe B can fill in 45 hours, right? If both the pipes are open simultaneously, how much time will be taken to fill the tank, right? See, both are doing the positive work, right? Both are filling the tank, right? Now let's take the LCM. So LCM of 36 and 45, if you will try to take LCM, it will be 3 into 12 and 3 into 15 and then 3 into 4 and 3 into 5. So 3 into 3 is 9, 9 into 4 is 36, 36 into 5 is 180. So LCM will be 180 and this becomes capacity of the tank, suppose 180 liter. Now 180 divided by 36, it will divide by 5 times and 180 divided by 45, it will get divided by 4 times. Now the efficiency of A is 5 and the efficiency of B is 4 means A can fill 5 liter in 1 hour and B can fill 5, 4 liter in 1 hour, right? Now the total capacity of the tank is 180 liter is the total capacity and who has to fill this? 
a plus b has to fill this so we should be knowing the efficiency of a plus b then only i can tell how many hours or how many days it will take now 180 divided by 5 plus 4 180 divided by 180 divided by 9 so it will take how many hours 20 hours to fill the tank and option c will become our answer right now question number two question number two if a and b two pipes can fill a tank in 10 hours so a plus b can fill a tank in 10 hours right so a plus b is filling a tank so filling a tank is a positive work when a pipe can fill a tank in six hours when a can fill the same tank in six hours right so this is also doing a positive work right now we tr will try to see here a plus b is taking 10 hours while a alone is doing the work in six hours that means see a plus b their work is positive means there may be a possibility a is filling 10 liter and b is removing 4 liter see in this case what will happen 6 liter will get filled in the tank so this is still a positive work yes or no right so if a and b two pipes can fill a tank in 10 hours means a plus b i have written 10 hours and a pipe can fill a tank in 6 hours with that also i have written then in how much time will be taken to fill or empty the tank when pipe b opens alone right so they are asking about the pipe b so what we will do we will take the lcm so lcm of 6 and 10 will be what so 2 into 3 and 2 into 5 so 2 into 3 is 6 6 into 5 is 30 so lcm will be 30 now 30 divided by 10 will be 3 so a plus b efficiency is 3 and 30 divided by 6 will be 5 right so you see here a plus b efficiency is 3 and a efficiency is 5 right see two person efficiency is three and a alone efficiency is five that means definitely b is doing some negative work right so what will be b efficiency so b efficiency will be what minus two yes or no see how do we calculate this a plus b minus a will be what b efficiency because a and a will get cancelled so a plus b is what three and minus a is what 5 is equal to b efficiency so b efficiency will become minus 2 so b efficiency minus 2 it indicates that b is removing 2 liter of water per hour so b efficiency will become minus 2 right a plus b efficiency is 3 a efficiency is 5 and b efficiency becomes minus 2 because b is removing the water right and then only the efficiency of a plus b is less now the tank capacity is 30 liter and b efficiency is minus 2 that means this will become minus 15 minus 15 hours right so minus 15 minus indicates that b is going to remove the water right b is going to remove the water and how much time it will take to remove the water so 15 hours it will take to remove the water so b will empty the tank in 15 hours so what we did is if you try to understand from the beginning what we have done is we have taken the a plus b if is uh, a plus b total hours and a total hours is 6 then we took the lcm lcm was 30 and 30 becomes our capacity of the tank then 30 by 10 is equal to 3 and 30 by 6 is equal to 5 see a efficiency is 5 but a plus b efficiency is 3 less than a that means definitely b is doing a negative work so from we using this a plus b efficiency minus a efficiency will become b efficiency because a and a will get cancelled so from here we got b efficiency is minus 2 that means b is removing 2 liters per hour so 30 divided by minus 2 means total capacity is 30 and b efficiency is how much b efficiency is minus 2 means b is going to remove the water and how much time it will take it will take 30 divided by 2 which is nothing but 15 hours thanks for watching the video